right. Now it's my turn to bring some nostalgia to the table. Oh my god, I, this, the, the 90s screamed to me. Oh. Wow. Ooh, even Hasbro games. knew what this genre was even Hasbro knew what this genre was gonna become one day. What the Oh, this guy looks like he needs some, what are he's you? well well out of shape and needs work. Wait, he was a, this guy was a, this guy used to be an alligator from Frogger, and he's back and in the original Frogger, and he's oh. kinda ticked at having to be used as a simple platform. That's scary. Fact. I've been Whoa. doing this for 20 won. years, back and forward, back and forward, what and I'm sick of it! Fuck? Oh yeah, by the way, Frogger's a girlfriend now. So, oh, okay. A very so ugly this girlfriend. Time, girlfriend and this time, the alligator doesn't just want the game. He wants his revenge. Swampy's revenge. So, yeah, I guess oh, his so name that's is Swampy. Who Swampy is. Yep, he was mm -hmm. an alligator from Frogger 1, and Frogger 1, he's back, that you did a look at of, <laughs> and he's mad at you. I didn't even know this swampy character existed up until now. Me neither, but apparently it's all Seely's fault. Why is it my fault? Because <laughs> you jumped on that alligator one too oh. many times. Okay. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> so, with that said, let's get started into the game. Uh, I'll talk about the tutorial a bit. I'll just first of all say, this is, I think, what started the modernization of the Frogger genre. Uh, well, like, te technically speaking, didn't we already get that with the, with the original um, Frogger He's Back? Kind of okay. This made it more of a linear story then. Like this actually made like this. Okay, then this is one of the first Frogger games I think that actually attributed a story to it. Ah, uh, okay, that's fair enough. So, as normal, flipping around, you can use your circle button to eat up. Uh, Are those belching noises? Like, yes, yeah, because you're eating bugs, and you have a new double jump feature. Whoa! That can work in different directions, thankfully. <laughs> and you can do a mega jump to go over edges, and there's switches, and as you're seeing, the main goal is to find all five of your frog babies. And that's code that. Coded for your convenience. I, I, I want to skip through that because that was just a training station to show the c controls. We'll get to the real meat of the game. And I'll just, okay, I'll also sum up this next cutscene by saying Swampy wants to get revenge on Frogger and apparently his new wife, Lily. By they, made a bunch of, their... they made a bunch of babies. And he wants to steal them. Um... Spoilers, I think it involves something with food. Well, he is a hunk. He is an alligator. And what do alligators eat? Yeah. So, um, with that said, um, Hype and I actually have some interesting things to talk about this, because I don't know about you, Hype, but this was one of my first exposures to, like, Frogger on the modern, like, at the time, anyway. Oh, God, they scream. Oh, my God. Oh. Frogger screams is priceless. Oh. Anyway. But, um... Yeah, Hype and I, this, I think... Hype, right, what was your exposure with this game like? Um, I remember... Yeah, by the way, sorry for that bit of absence. I had to do a few things. Almost like I wasn't meant to be in this Devil Dame video. But anyway, no, um, I remember when I was younger... No, that's fine. When I was younger, I remember playing this on my PC. I think it was back when I used to live in a different city when I was younger. And I remember playing quite a bit of this. Um, I think I beat it like a few times, but... Yeah, um, I probably don't remember a lot of the finer mechanics, I just remember like a lot of certain scenes. Like there's one cutscene later in the game that actually has Swampy actually trying to advertise like his own little frogger ripoff. Oh, oh yeah, I remember that. That's its own game too. <laughs> or uh, its own level anyway, but yep. This is uh, what our big- you're gonna see like this- the plausibility of what we're doing in this game reaches Okay, I don't think any game will ever reach that kind of craziness, but it almost reaches as crazy levels as Super Monkey Ball 2 levels of plot. What the hell? Oh, Lord. What the? That, Wars. Super Monkey Ball 2 has some really weird plot things. Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. Oh, I just don't remembered even get... how bad the lawnmowers were, and he's back. Yeah, they look more vicious. But yeah, they're fine. You just gotta be quick. But yeah, it kind of looks Man, like from a gameplay standpoint. Quick. Yeah. So yeah, it kind of looks like from a gameplay standpoint, it's largely similar to the old uh, PS1 game that came before it, but with like a few new features, like having a double jump. Mm -hmm. And um, they even have some new power-ups and things to collect as well. Also seems a bit easier by comparison. I think so. I tried playing He's Back, it did not go well for me. Dope. Looks over his plans. Alright, I got All the groceries. Right. Now what do I- Oh! Stick them up! Oh, crap. I 
knew I the shouldn't have gone shopping from the no. from the froggy supermarket. So he throws Whee! some children over into some mines, and he throws other children into Egypt, apparently. And then he runs off. And unfortunately, as parents, we have no choice but to go after the children that he's already gotten rid of, as opposed to chasing him down to save you know the thirty others he has. But so that's why Leave we're no in behind. Ways. Yep, I know. So this is now the second chapter, which is Frogger and Lily are both going to have to work together to find and save their children, which, if you're wondering, they control absolutely no different from each other. Right. They're essentially palace swaps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although I will say I like, I like Lily's design. Not in the 3D model, but in a little 2D thing in the lower left that's kind of neat. That's cute. I also kind of like... Actually, just going off that, I will say, um, we'll see it in a little bit, but I actually think like her in-game model for this actually looks a lot more adorable than her cinematic model. Honestly, the CG, yeah. honestly, the CG looks like absolute crap. It is dated. Yeah. yeah. I almost forgot how bad it was. If I'm not mistaken, didn't it, didn't uh, wasn't this game oop. released in like 2000? I want to say it was like I want to say it was like towards the early to mid years of the PlayStation One's life cycle. Yeah, like CG was starting to starting to get out of it, out of that weird '90s jank by this point. Ooh. Also, let me say one big issue I have with this game, actually, if I'm going to compare this to more, you know, the more recent Frogger titles, I wish there was a rotate button. There's no ro oh dear god. There that's... is no, there is no, there is no button to rotate yourself on the spot. At least not that's fine. that's bad. Like that's which that's something that, that's something to do with the shoulder buttons now. Right, because I say that could yeah. make some really like that can make some Trump jumps really tricky. Yeah. Oh, the spot. Imagine. Yeah. Anyway, I need to go over here, put your switch. Get back over here. Uh, yeah. By the way, most of these PlayStation PlayStation One games I've been playing using Mednafen that James showed me, actually a really competent emulator. Yes, it is. Once you set it up right. Oh, oh, wait, oh boy. What did you say? Wait a second, I'll tell you. Oh my god! Right, 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 right. I'm moving! Are you gonna slap me oh. if I make an Indiana Jones reference? Well, James just. Uh, we I just. Make, I, yeah, I just. Yes, yeah. I, can't, I can't. Oh, I didn't hear him, my bad. Oh, there's Lily. Oh. That has a weird smile. It is. It's like a little. Anyway. But, um, you know what it kind of reminds me of? Oh, she's so, so cute! It's kind of a sad thing to bring. Too, but that one, that one blue-haired chick from Waste Club. That's like the first thing that immediately comes to mind. Oh, oh Wings Club. uh, Musa. Uh, yeah, yeah. Musa. That's it. Huh. I need to watch Wings Club anyway, again. I, I please never don't. Got to. Are, please don't. Please don't. It's you a, it's, really? it's you trash. You do know there are two different English dubs, right? They're but it, well, either way, the series is trash, and I and I and Taurus had me sit through at least two seasons of it. Why did she have you sit through two seasons? Like, does, does she know it's trash? She hey, it could be a she had a childhood. Life. She had a bit of a childhood history with it, has some affinity towards some of the characters, so she invited me to give it a watch. I'm like, eh, I guess I wouldn't hurt to give it a try. I mean, I've, I've seen snippets of it, didn't really think much of it as a kid. Maybe you know, watching it watching it for the first time, like, as I'm older, would be would be, an ex would be a decent enough experience. Boy, was I mistaken. I have I a think... little bit of a childhood with it, that's why I thought I should watch I mean, it. I, I, I guess it to give it, a... I mean, I guess to give it, I guess to give it credit, credit, like, the later dubs are pretty decent. That and that, that one, um, that one, um, that one, that's that sort of extended movie that's supposed to be like an, ex like an extended version of the first season is all right, even though it's missing a few really important details. But otherwise, yeah, that's all right. But again, like the original seat two seasons sucked ass, and well, she wants me to join her for the third season, so I'm, I'm just hoping it's a little better. But I don't really have my hopes up. You know. Anyway, I'm very, I'm terribly sorry that's about that. Let's get, of. I'm very terribly sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Let's no, get back to it. The stuff that we actually care about. For honestly, let's yeah, no. just see this video before that. Ugh. Oh, she doesn't really watch yeah. our uh, channel, so I think This reminds me of the sewer level from these back. Hmm. You know, you could just say no. I'm con you I'm need to get You I'm need to get a lesson from Donald Duck, my friend. I'm obligated to. I mean, we're good friends. Hmm. I know. Besides, I've already gotten this, already gotten that far. I may as well hey, go just one, bit, one foot deeper into the frog hole. I think... I, and I make that mistake two more times, I think, in this video, but I think I'm supposed to just do a single jump, not just hop. Yeah, you that. are. It's. Uh, I'm not going to blame you for that. It is a really big, like, newcomer trap. I could be, well, I could be wrong, but when it. you... I could be wrong, but when you try to do a super hop, doesn't that technically make you go go through, like, two tiles as opposed to one? Uh, no, it just makes you go forward. It's only if I do a double jump. 
A ah. single, uh, if you press the X button once, you just go up. Oh, oh. If you hit the X button once, you go up. You go, like, up one tile. Like, okay, you elevate one tile, and you go one tile ahead of you. Uh, there. There that you works. go. I'll take it. What was even the point of the stairs? Uh, <laughs> again, another trap? I don't know. But anyway... Yeah, I think that I think that one chick had a, a history with Wings Club. I remember. Yeah, having she more cosplayed as Stella. I remember having more exposure to Witch. Yeah, Stella. Stella, I would say, is the only character worth a damn in that show. I, I remember mean, having Stella? more exposure. I should say, yeah, Stella. Oh, meanwhile, while well, we're having this discussion, I thought I thought Musa was pretty cool too. Musa was boring as fuck. Anyway, oh, I'm sorry. We're sorry. I was gonna. Let's get back Musa to. Let's get back to can we just get back to swapping? Hey, hey, there we go. Say real quick, don't. Or I don't know. I don't know who I thought of. I feel oh, that like works. I feel like we're. I feel like we're touching upon some trauma that James has endured as a result of watching this show. Anyway, okay, James, I'd rather not. I yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather not talk about it right now. Oh, by the way, okay. Swampy's going to space. Ooh. I don't know yeah. how he's going to space. This game is just insane, but honestly, I think it's aware of how insane it is. Oh, I, I love mean, it. Yeah, I mean, did you see how? Did you just see that he had his like tongue extended there for a good few seconds the whole time? That the, yeah. the models are so janky. But, that that but, is so, that is some pure grade A jank. That is honestly, some, I could say that is, I, some, that is some reboot jank. Honestly, the more I think about it, like that, pretty much summarizes this game in a nutshell. This, like, even from the gameplay, not gonna lie, like in motion, it kind of feels jank. At times. I don't mind it though. Like, I, I I could play this game. I think even now. Yeah, yeah it's playable. I just. I just remember trying it out. Like, actually, uh, my my only exposure to um, uh, Swampy's Revenge here, uh, the first time was through a was through a PC version of the game. I think I got through a uh, in my elementary school cap, uh, PC catalog, PC game catalog. Um, I was able to get it. It doesn't really it didn't really work on my old PC because it started on the intro sequence, so that was kind of stupid. But then I eventually invested in in the copy of this game and the first game he's back on uh, PS One and. I did give this game a shot for a few minutes or so, but I honestly kind of dropped it after that. I thought, ironically, I spent a little more time on um, the first game than the second. Well, I will still say that I think between the two, this is my preferred one. Sorry, Sealy. Um, oh, that's right. The other thing I was mentioning earlier is, um, so I've been able to play this with um, the, with emulation on an emulator called Medlefin, which is probably one of the best ways I've been able to play PS1 games on PC lately. Yeah, because um, honestly, like EPSXE... For what it was worth, like for what it's worth, it takes a lot of fin finessing, and there's like a whole bunch of options that honestly aren't even perfect. Yeah, but this one I think just it, it's more simple. It, it, there's a little bit of setup you have to do with with firm with the game, the BIOS. I, I legally I can't say all that stuff, but if you get it working, I think like it's the most stable I've run some of these games. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Any who's here? That's, no bonus. That's the first time I ever saw. Honestly, it's only really something. You, yeah, honestly, yeah, like. Whenever we bring up stuff like this, it's only really encouraged if it's like you already own the game legitimately. You want to maybe give it a bit a bit of a fresher coat of paint, so do it that way. Right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's go and see where else uh, Lily is going in the. We don't openly line. invite piracy without a cause. I know. So so says Kybrush Three Point Mighty Pirate. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah. I mean, and on a side note, we also do not promote the use of drugs unless it's for medicinal purposes. Of course. But I mean, like. But like, I honestly think this game has some pretty decent music. I like, ow. I like the, I like the, uh, the, the I, I definitely like the variety of stages and hazards you have to face. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad for what it's worth. I mean, I guess if I'll give this game something, it does seem a bit dynamic at points. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm I think the way I would say just between the two, I'm just to give my two cents on that is like, I'll grant you, he's back is a lot more quicker to the point in the sense of like. It's just straight up Frogger, go get at it. Whereas this one is yeah. not quite as obtuse because, you know, it has a bit of a narrative. However, that being said, I do think this one is a little bit more accessible because, not for nothing, I don't think Frogger He's Back is something that you should get straight into because it is hard. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. It, it, it's it's arcade hard. Oh, I will also say, I, think, I, I don't know why, I think it's cute how she says we. Yay! <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I, li I like the stages, and I and honestly, I'm not I'm not upset with the linear stages. Like that was the I guess the big issue I had with Frogger. He's bad because the levels were very non-linear. Yeah, yeah, a little and too. I could get lost and the, easily. And the, yeah, and the camera was oh, not yeah. very good Oof. for those sections. Ooh. Ow! My leg. Hmm. Hmm. 
Um, I will say, um, even though I point, I kind of pointed out earlier, but I wanted to elaborate. Um, I don't know if they worked on his back, but the crew that helped work on Swappy's Revenge Blitz games, um, they actually did two things of interest. One of them is they did a Looney Tunes license game that I actually played a bit when I was younger, that if I had the means to it, I probably wouldn't mind doing a look at of it. Um, well, Taz Wanted. That's, a, that's nothing, you can kind of glide, I guess. Oh, I remember Taz Wanted. Mm -hmm. And another thing they did is that they made both those fairly odd parents games for the GameCube. Shadow Showdown huh. and Break Into Rules. Nice. I remember, I remember Break Into Rules. Uh, um, they yeah. also they also made uh, Pac-Man World 3, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. The other thing, um, what was it? Um, oh, uh, one Frogger game I want to do sometime. I forget what it was called, though. It was a Game Boy Advance game and it involved him, like, finding, like, ancient elements. Like, um, I think that might have been... Ice. I think that might have been, like, Frogger Journey, maybe? Maybe. I, I, I remember that... I think... I remember today that's, like, my favorite Frogger game. Was it one of the more story-centric Frogger games? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I think that might have been Frogger Journey. Ooh, yeah, they do. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, I, I think I know which one you're talking about. I think I can put you in the direction of where that's at. Okay, but yeah, I would totally like. Uh, uh, I don't think uh, I don't know if I could really make a commentary out of that game, but like I, I, I really do like that game. Who knows? I, that's up to you. Like if you if you decide to do a full playthrough or whatever. Man, she pushes one button. Oh, she's too late for the Mario Party. Aww. And she has no idea how cognitive thinking works, so she's gotta wait for Hummy to get there. Oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, he is out in the ant's oh, nest. Oh, Kumi, hurry! <laughs> Kumi. Oh god, he is, he is pretty much Kermit, isn't he? So yeah, this is now back to Kermit in the ant's nest and having to deal with all this. I'm coming, my love! Oh, but I was not supposed to visit my aunt until Thanksgiving! Not that ant. Different ant. <laughs> oh dear. I've heard blind love, but this is ridiculous. I love I think my Kermit ended up sounding more like Seuss. It did a little bit. I can- Oh! How can be? Ow. How can be? You yeah, did that. mine sounds- Doesn't even sound remotely like him. Sounds more like Cubot again. Now how- no, Now how did that- Now who did that how can be one? Because I remember that was a fan animation. Uh, that was what actually was Alex Hirsch that said that. But like, was it like at a convention or something? I think it was for either his Twitter or some... On the way, I remember. I think he did it for, like, one of the streams that he did. Okay. Does he, Wait. like, does, does he does he stream games and stuff? No, I or think like he only on? streams, like, art stuff. Uh, okay. oh, well. Wait, there's cheese, there's... Wow, these ants have been busy. Oh, yeah, there are a lot of them. I will say, some of these levels do show off the power of the PS1. Yeah, I'll give them credit. There, at least, I mean, as, as, for as for as jank as this game it might be, it does try some impressive stuff. The stuff with its um. And again, I like that. Again, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Unlike Frogger, he's back. I can actually see far. I can actually see ahead of me. That's properly. good. And not be super zoomed yeah. in. Like, where am I going? Yeah, it's not quite as awkward. But I, okay, I, but I can't keep saying like we we we're all looking at. We have our reasons for liking both. Uh, you know, one or the other game. I, I mean, honest, honestly, honestly, at the end of the day, I'll. At the end of the day, I'll always just stick to the more recent Froggers if I want my fix. That's fair. That's fair. Like the you know the one that actually wears clothes. Oh. <laughs> right, right. That's why that's why you're going to be showing us a look at up that PS2 game, right? Um, I already did. I thought you already did one. Wait, you did the one with the freaking yeah, Ancient Shadow. Shadow. Remember? Oh no, I thought you were talking. No, no, I was I was talking about the other one. Oh no, that <laughs> fuck that shit. Yeah, that's a modern one where he wears clothes, right? Nope. With the frog, frog mother. That's the dude. That's the one everyone wants to forget. God, that was um, such a weird game. Okay. It, it, okay, three. Okay, three D platformer, almost like gameplay, almost similar to Star Fox Adventures hype. That's uh -huh. what we're dealing with. Yeah, didn't work apparently. Surprisingly, taking Frogger out of his natural genre doesn't work. Yeah. I mean, if you're gonna put him in a 3D platformer type of thing, make it seem more Frogger-esque. Yeah. Like you know, so make it, it like make this. it more about the jumping as a, make it all right. about the j jumping and not make it so goddamn awkward. You know, Mario Odyssey could do a 3D Frogger better. Yeah. It could. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh by the way, that's something that. Mario! Oh, Mario! <laughs> But yeah, just real quick before I have to leave, I noticed that sometimes Frogger and his little wife actually have this croak ability that you can actually use to hone in on nearby frogs. 
anymore. It helps. I'm just gonna cheese this part. You, you oh, can do that. there you go. You can do that. And he's back too. Uh, that's right, because you were. Oh, that's right. You were saving the babies, and he's back too. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's the whole point. Yeah, hang on, wait. Croak. Oh, see, there you I missed go. one. All the way up there. The croak. Can I get up there? No. That, yeah, that 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 just does feel so awkward. Who it's wants some frosted frog okay. legs? Roasted. I actually did. I actually did have fried frogs like at a state fair once. Yeah, okay, so I will say like, like I will say, oof. Ow. Like I will, like, I will say that. Like, fine. I will. I will. I will concede to that. The double jumping is really odd because it's hard to tell what can be reached. You really just have to. Ow. Ow. You really yeah, just have to kind of. Horrible. You just have to kind of like sometimes guess. I also forget because I haven't actually tried it out myself. I don't know what happens if you lose all your lives. I don't know if that's a, a permanent game over. Oh, there you go. Or, Yay. or it's just re you restart from the end of the, from the beginning of the level again. I would say maybe the beginning of the level. Yeah, three D platformers right. by this time. Three D platformers by this time work. It's starting to get that. It's starting to get that generous. Okay. So, wh which company owns the license to Frogger again? Konami. I thought that was Hasbro. I thought it was, Hasbro yeah, I was gonna say. I thought no, it was Hasbro. no, Konami's always had the license. Always, always own Konami. Or excuse me, Konami always owned Frogger because technically they made it first. But it's it's funny well, thinking about because uh, like Frogger. I remember Frogger, when I posted something on YouTube a few years ago. Hasbro claimed copyright okay. for it, and I got a strike on my account. All right, well, maybe because the music. Or well, maybe, yeah, maybe it's like yeah. also Hype had to leave us, but he will he'll join us later. But. My other guess is that perhaps it's something more like, okay, Hasbro came, Hasbro claimed copyright for this game, but not for the pro, not for the character they made it. Kind of like how technically you could say that Capcom would own the rights to Minish Cap, but they don't own Zelda. Right. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's weird thinking about because by the like during the '90s, like some of these American companies, like they technically had bar, like bought temporary like licenses towards these uh, towards these uh, franchises like yeah Frogger or Pac-Man and well it's weird thinking about it, but the, like the original like IP owners never really got credited like Konami's not mentioned in any of, the, of the, like these Frogger games and Pac-Man I don't think was um, acknowledged in like like that PC Pac-Man game Adventures in Time huh not a single mention of, of Namco but yeah it's just weird like that I guess so but that said that is actually the last level I'm going to be showing off Frogger 2 we'll get a cutscene here but yeah, I may be biased because I can actually play the, and beat this game, unlike Frogger One, which was really hard for me. Yeah, but, oh yeah. and even then, it's really not—it's—it's it's not even well, it's not even like a story-centric type of game anyway. Meanwhile, Frogger's like, I must try and hack this. Long story short, he can't figure it out, and Lily, it's up to her to find and turn on the on switch herself in another level. But I'm not going to show that level off. With that said, thank you all so much for watching the frog. This Frogger Two Swampy's Revenge look at. Um, if you can somehow find a way to yar har your way to getting a copy of it, I mean, I feel like it's worth hmm. at least one playthrough to just, you know, see what it's like, get your hands on it, give it a give it a nice something or whatever. I can't say this is a family-friendly program. What's this but, version for again? Uh, it was for PC and for PS2. Not PS2, PS1. PS1. I think it might have gotten a Dreamcast version too, but yeah. Right. I can help you with saying something up like that later. With that said, everybody, I uh, hope you all had fun. I'm Lucky Jack 20. I'm James May Extreme. And I'm Highwing Princess Alita, and Hype Voice Acting had to leave us. Hype Voice Acting croaked. Oh. Indeed. He croaked Take a care. good one. Take care. Till next time, everybody. Bye bye.